Okay, Matthew 6, 6. But you, when you pray, go into your room. And when you have shut your door, pray to your Father who is in a secret place. And your Father who sees in secret will reward you openly. Therefore, do not be like them, for your Father knows the things you have need of before you ask Him. So here it talks about when you pray, go into your inner room. Because the Jews at that time like to pray in public to show people that they are uh, a pious person. But Jesus said, go to your inner room where no one sees you and you pray there. And your Father will, seize you in, will see you in secret and will reward you in secretly. I mean, uh, reward you openly. So God will reward you when you pray in secret. Now it doesn't mean we don't pray openly. But it means that even when no one sees us, we'll still pray. we we'll still have a close relationship with God when no one sees us. We we'll continue to love God. So this first part, there's a promise. The promise is that God will see you in secret and He will reward you openly. And then here, the second part, do not be like them, for your Father knows the things you have need of before you ask Him. So here is the promise that God knows what we need before we pray. So even when we don't ask for what we need, when we love God and obey Him, He will give us what we need. Now that has happened to me and happened to many Christians. I came from a very poor family, but when I, after I believed in Jesus, I really, I was very zealous for God, and I'm still very zealous for God, and I told many people about Jesus, and then God opened the way, and also I started to tithe after I started to work and have income. I started to tithe, and then God was pleased, and God opened a way for me to have a lot of education and to learn different things and have opportunities to bless many people. So I hope you all see that God is a God of blessing. So He knows my needs before I pray. I did not ask Him to provide me with these opportunities. He would automatically do it. Of course, we can ask for things. We can ask for things. But even before we ask, He already knows. And when we love Him, He will give us the things we need. So here are two promises that He will see us in secret when we pray in secret and He will reward us openly and also He knows the things we need of and then when we seek first the kingdom of God and His righteousness, all these things will be given to us. So the outline, God sees, now here I don't start with the negative and positive examples. I start with God's grace. God sees our prayer in secret and will reward us openly. So this is His promise. God looks for sincerity in our relationship with Him. When we sincerely pray, even when we're in secret, God will see it and then God will reward us richly. And then God knows our needs before we pray. God has all the resources and He cares about our needs and He's happy to provide for those who obey Him. So God knows our needs and He is resourceful. He has all the things we need. He has plenty, plenty, enough for everyone. So when we love Him and obey Him, He will bless us. He will give us all kinds of resources. And why many Christians don't trust in God's care? Because they, they get used to trusting in themselves. They rely on themselves instead of trusting in God. And that's why they don't have the blessings from God. How we can build up a good relationship with God and trust in God's goodness. We build up the good relationship with God when we believe the promises of the Bible that God really hears our prayer, God really cares about us and He knows our need and so He will reward us, He will bless us. So we read the Bible and see all the good things about God and we trust in Him and we are pleased with God. We delight in God and we appreciate God and we spend more time loving God and then God is very happy and God will bless us. So when we uh, build up our trust in Him and we, trust, uh, we, we pray to Him all the time, we love Him all the time, we glorify Him all the time and we tell people about Jesus, then we are building up a good relationship with God and how to trust in God's goodness and also how to pray, how to pray that we'll receive His blessings. Because He, 
he said he would know our need before we pray so we we'll believe the promise we just say he will reward us he will bless us he will provide for us so i just trust in him i trust in his promise and uh, now how can we build up this faith we want to put down our lack of faith we look at the examples of other Christians, how they've been blessed by God. So we look at the good examples and we can find proofs that the Bible is God's word, that is trustworthy. The Bible is trustworthy. So we believe in the Bible uh, and we follow the Bible and we put down the lack of faith and we trust that God has he really wants to bless us when we follow him. And then when we follow him and when we pray, we experience his joy. Then we say, God, thank you, thank you. You have fulfilled your promise to me. And then when we bless other people, we find more joy. And we are blessed by God. We say, thank you, Lord. You are blessing me when I follow you. So then we see that when we love God and obey God, he will bless us. He will reward us. So that strengthens our faith more. The more we trust in him, the more he will bless me. So I hope that you all will write outlines and write clear outlines that in all four points you go the same direction here we don't stray away so God sees our prayer in secret God knows our need and why Christians don't trust in God and how we can uh, build a good, good relationship with God and trust in God's goodness